Hello, my name is Nicole Ansoni. I'm the owner of Inga Steakhouse, the only steakhouse in Rwanda. Proudly recipient of Restaurant of the Year two years in a row. Uh, I am happy to say that we um, employ uh, currently 31 uh, youth. Uh, prior to COVID, we only had 24 um, staff. Uh, we have now added seven permanent staff and three uh, that are temporary staff and we hope to grow and this is thanks to the Komizar program. Our industry has been greatly affected by COVID-19 and without the help of programs like the Komizar program, we wouldn't have been able to not only sustain the livelihood of the business but also grow the business as we have attempted to do so with the help of their funding and the help of um, their professional assistance in terms of restructuring, in terms of workshops and speaking to professionals that are industry in the industry to guide us, creating also um, partnerships by being able to meet other people that were part of this cohort. Um, it's been a tremendous, tremendous assistance um, from the Komiza program. We're extremely grateful. We've been able to expand um, in terms of the spacing, in terms of building um, new kitchens um, so that we can employ more youth, so that we can do capacity building, so that we can um, sort of provide other services and sort of diversify the, 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 the business. Hello, my name is Andamisha Benzie. I'm the co-founder and managing director of Mr. Fresh Restaurant. Mr. Fresh is a curry Mexican restaurant in the city of Kigali. It's a fast food that makes burritos, tacos, meze salads, uh, and burrito bowls. We are very honored to be part of the Comesa program as we learned and gain so much from it. Before the pandemic, we had about 19 employees and numbers were going low like down because of the pandemic after joining the program we have been able to pay our credits extending our business and open a new branch in the kissimmee a drive through takeaway that created six more jobs that turned into 25 employees and 35 percent of them are women in the coming month we will reopen at african leadership university in six to twelve months and it's going to create more jobs also Hi, my name is Janet, Janet Kesatura, and I run Slice and Cakes here at Kigali Highs. Slice and Cakes is a bakery brand that handcrafts cakes and cupcakes to help our clients celebrate life's special moments in a memorable way. Um, we focus on quality, convenience, and well-designed cakes for our clients. We are a team of 10 people with three ladies. COVID affected our business negatively. We used to focus on large events, weddings and corporate events. Uh, but due to COVID, that changed in overnight. Um, and so we had to pivot our business model into providing delicious small cakes for small parties due to social distancing and, and people not being able to meet in large numbers. Um, our sales dropped down by 70% during the pandemic, but we managed to pick up, pick up our sales up um, and we were able to, to grow naturally after, after the, the pandemic. Uh, in terms of our employees, during COVID, we remained with three out of 10, three could uh, keep working. But after the, the lockdown, we were able to bring them one by one. And thanks to Komeza that, that uh, funded our cash flows and our working capital during that period of recovery from, uh, from, um, from COVID. Uh, what I should say about Komeza is that uh, it's been the critical part, partner in our business. Um, it helped us go through such a tough time. Now we can look at uh, our business with, with uh, positivity and optimistic about, about the future. Um, in terms of the workshops and classes, we really learned a lot, most especially on the finance side of things with the laws changing um, in, in the revenue side of things. Uh, we, we were able to be enlightened and taught um, by Komeza coaches. We're really grateful.
As a grant receiver, uh, I've, I've grown. It has really impacted my business positively. Uh, I used to have one store. Now I'm able, I was able to open um, a I mean, partnership with other retail stores where I can sell my, my products. So I have grown as a business, and my takeaway is uh, you need partners to grow. Uh, you cannot do it on your own. Pomeza gave us coaches who really impacted our business in terms of teaching us and helping us have the growth plan for our business, and that has really impacted our business positively. In the next 12 months, Slice and Cakes is going to grow its presence in Kigali. We are looking to partner with over 10 stores um, so that our clients can conveniently ac uh, access our products anywhere in Kigali. Uh, the future is bright. We're really optimistic about the future. We worked, uh, we worked with our coaches and we were able to work out a growth plan for our business and we can't wait to really start growing as a business with a proper plan and a proper planned future for our business. My name is uh, Falcon Prodwindirima. I'm uh, the Managing Director of uh, Kivu Springs. Uh, Kivu Springs is a water bottling company. We started in uh, 2016 from Giseni and then uh, relocated to Kigali in uh, 2018. So, uh, yes, so we've been around for coming to five years now. Um, COVID has uh, impacted my business in, in terms of numbers. So we as basically went down, we, we nearly closed. Uh, we cut down on the, on the employees, we cut down on the production uh, uh, volumes. We were not able to meet our, our rentals. The, 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 the running costs were there while we were not basically working. So that is how it affected us. And so we start run, started running into losses. Um, in terms of numbers, we were, we were doing, an example, we were doing about three vehicles, three vehicles uh, on the bucket. We cut down to one, which also was working on a, you know, three times in a week. Yeah, in terms of uh, staff, we moved from 25 to six. Then the revenues, the revenues uh, were looking, we were doing between 10 to 15 million a month. We went to below 1 million. Komeza came in at the time when we, we were desperate, when we were in the ditch. And uh, it basically came into, it's like a savior because we were basically, I mean, we didn't know what to do. So many calls from, uh, you know, all over the people who needed their, their payments and also were able to get a lease of life uh, because, because of Comeza. Then the workshops came in to help we strategize and we think through how to run the business, how to plan better, how to organize, how to forecast, how to see how to, to be sustainable in the market, even with the pandemic. My main takeaway from Komeza at this point is basically that uh, we have it, it's, it's, it, it's left a big mark in our business life. And uh, yes, I'm so appreciative of, of, uh, of the support and of uh, the training that we've had along this period of time. Bonjour, je m'appelle Bernadette Mouniana, fondatrice de Dokumai, une marque de maroquinerie faite main au Rwanda. On se spécialise dans la fabrication des accessoires de mode, entre autres sac à main pour femmes, pour hommes, portefeuille, et ceinture et autres. J'ai intégré le programme Comesa dans, avec un grand espoir de continuer de travailler sans problème comme Dokma a été déstabilisé par le Covid-19. On avait 14 employés avant la pandémie et aujourd'hui on a 21 employés dont 13 femmes. Actuellement, 
Nous sommes stables et on grandit en créant de nouveaux produits, entre autres les chaussures. Nous allons créer de nouveaux emplois et tout ça grâce à Comesa. À part le don reçu, l'assistance technique nous a permis de restructurer notre entreprise dans le cadre managérial et exécutif. Et nous avons aussi appris comment une entreprise peut survivre dans une situation précaire. Un grand merci à l'équipe Comesa et Mastercard Foundation. Vous serez gravé dans le cœur de l'équipe de Kumai. Merci beaucoup. Conclusively, I want to thank the Comesa team and the Comesa founders for the good job for coming in just when we needed them. They saved our lives. So we're really excited about what Comesa has done for our business. Forever grateful for Comesa and we can't wait to, to keep expanding and, and growing and, and hiring people and making a difference in, in, in Rwanda. Thank you. So on behalf of all of the Comesa program, cohort participants such as ourselves in Inha Steakhouse, we would like to extend with a heart full of gratitude our greatest thanks to the MasterCard Foundation and to ESB for the relief and the support that they've given us in this very difficult time. Thank you.